Hello, my name is Leah Renee Jones and I am an emerging art therapist. I am so excited to share with you my identities as an artist, a clinician, and a counselor, and the ways in which these identities embody the way that I practice. I decided to become an art therapist and counselor because I am able to bring my skills as an artist and my natural abilities as an empath to show compassion when people need it most. When I discovered art therapy as a profession, I knew it was the vocation that aligned most with who I am. I value a safe, non-judgmental space where people can learn, heal, and grow at their own pace. I studied at the Art Institute of Chicago and completed my field work in schools and private practice settings. Within these spaces, I facilitated workshops, individual sessions, in person and online. I have experience working with children, adults, and older adults, people with autism and cognitive disabilities. Art therapy is a way to foster wellness in an innovative and proven way and is for anyone and everyone. As a black woman of faith and resilience, my personal journey has greatly been supported through art making. It has provided a way for me to find meaning through pain, grief, heartache, loss, and rediscovering my identity. I incorporate art therapy into my personal practice with drawing, painting, journaling, video journaling, storytelling, and dance. Art therapy is not limited to traditional art materials, but rather the materials that one connects with to best support themselves. The materials are important as they serve to inform and create language at times when there is none. Art making has the power to bring out feelings, to explore and make connections to how we show up for ourselves and others. My practice is interdisciplinary, which means I utilize psychological theories and evidence-based art theories. I primarily draw from cognitive behavioral therapy, gestalt therapy, strength-based therapy, solution-focused therapy, person-centered therapy, and mindfulness practices. With this interdisciplinary approach, it promotes one to become more present with themselves, develop resilient skills, and foster self-growth. A misconception of art therapy is that you have to know about art or enjoy art to experience it. All you need is curiosity. Knowing this, I begin sessions with inviting folks to create a symbol that represents the self using a material of their choice. Symbolism is a way to utilize metaphor and visually represent a feeling or experience. Allowing folks to choose their materials is also an opportunity to learn more in depth of how they relate to the function and affect that the material provides. Depending on the group or individual's needs, we can then explore core values, belief systems, and goals. After this, we can identify things that stand out and need attention. Our core values are what determine our outlook about our internal and external world. Our decisions are inherently impacted by what we think about ourselves and how we interact with others. This is important to understand and is an essential part of the therapeutic process. Depending on what an individual or group is bringing to a session or workshop, I tailor the art directives and therapeutic approach to best serve their needs. For instance, there is always space to practice mindfulness and breathing and noticing. We live in a world that experiences more anxiety than it ever has in history. 
One way to reduce anxiety is by establishing a mind and body connection. In art therapy and mindfulness, we notice the materials and draw our attention to the movement, static, sounds, sight, and breath to ground ourselves. This is a practice that can support our mental, emotional, and physical state so that we are able to be present in our own lives. Since the global pandemic, mental health needs have increased tremendously. There has been a heightened sense of systemic racism, oppression, and unhealthy family dynamics. In an ever-changing world, the need for wellness resources still remain. Art therapy has the capacity to transform lives and become expansive in the ways that it is practiced. Art therapy is really what you make it. It is my hope to broaden awareness of art therapy and mental health, especially to marginalized communities. I look forward to sharing, educating, guiding, and serving in this capacity. This is my contribution of hope, light, connecting, and healing. Peace.